Hi, I'm Senator Malcolm Roberts and I'm in the Gold Coast and I'm with Raphael Felix who's our One Nation candidate for the state seat of Southport in the election in three weeks time. Can you tell us a bit about yourself please Raphael? Well look, I've um, been living on the Gold Coast for about six years. Um, I work in the medical industry and basically working, dealing with cancer patients, stem cell patients and being a patient liaison over the last couple of years. What I've really learned is how much that the Australian public is not aware of a lot of the hurdles that they need to step through once they become ill. And that was pretty much my main... So, so, so you have to listen in that job. People have a need to be heard. That's being uh, abused by the, the tied old parties. So that's what we need. We need people to listen and connect with people's needs. Exactly. At the end of the day, a Member of Parliament is there to represent the people of the electorate. Um, that's Isn't the that music, thing. eh, to your area is. And, and you have a, an 18 month, a 15 month old and 18 year old. Yes. <laughs> and you've been married four years with... Exactly. So what that also means, I've got a kid that's just leaving high school and one about to go into school. And that gives me the motivation to make sure that things aren't going to happen the way it happened for my 18 year old. Exactly. And so, why One Nation, Raphael? Look, at the end of the day, One Nation was the only party after my deep research that didn't have an issue with actually going against Big Pharma. Um, every other party's too deep in the pockets to even say anything, yep. uh, let alone do anything about it. And that's why we found a lot of problems in, in uh, federal parliament just trying to get medicinal cannabis through. Because so many people, literally a million people at least, are using medicinal cannabis, some of them illegally. And it's, it's wonderful. And, it and there's no side effects. And it's protected, sorry, Big Pharma is protected, and that's why they, because you can't patent medicinal cannabis. Exactly right. Yeah, look, and that's the biggest what, problem that I find, even things like the cancer industry. What, the biggest thing that I find is that when the cancer protocols are written by Big Pharma, then treatments that are proven treatments like vitamin C and things like that aren't even considered as a possibility. And both Labor and Liberal uh, protect these vested interests. Of course they do. And so uh, you're also saying in your speech today to the, to the audience that you, you love One Nation's honesty and openness. So um, what are some of the issues that, that you see affecting the people of, of Southport? Look, after speaking to the people in my electorate, what I've really noticed is the problem with crime, um, homelessness is another big issue over there as well, um, and drug abuse. At the end of the day, I think they're all pretty much the same bubble. Well, the best solution for them is, is good job, a good economic... Uh, foundation so that we have more employment because exactly. employment fixes most of those things but you also mentioned uh, in your speech small business are getting a hammering on Southport look small business the, at the end of the day Southport is small business that's pretty much what Southport is all about so they're really feeling especially the loss of traffic coming through from the COVID restrictions it's destroying the businesses over there um, and even when restaurants are allowed to come on with a couple of people on there they don't understand the costs that are behind running a restaurant for only a few people and, and all the follow-on that happens with regards to supply lines and everything else as well. Yeah, and, and what's really important is that the country that's been most successful in dealing with COVID has been, the, uh, has been Taiwan. And they've had similar population. I won't go through all the details now. They've got a tougher job than we have, uh, a much tougher job than we have, but they've not destroyed their economy because they've locked down the sick, and they've locked down the vulnerable, isolated them. That's proper quarantine. And the rest of the people have gone on with their livelihoods and the economy has hardly missed a beat. And where we've had 850 deaths, they've had seven. And the population, never, their population is almost the same as ours, 24 million. And you never hear the major parties talking about that as an option. No. And what we want is people like Raphael who get into the data and who make policies based on data. Because at the moment, we still haven't seen the data and the government has not, not given us the data. The government has not given us a plan for COVID. So at the Exactly. So if you want people who understand the need to plan and make solid policies, Vote One Nation. Raphael Felix, number one, Southport.